Hello, and thank you for purchasing Marksware's ID2Q. You now have become one of the thousands of people using this popular Marksware Express extension, which will convert your InDesign projects into Quark Express version 6, 7, or 8 with just one click. As a note, ID2Q will open all versions of InDesign, that means CS1, CS2, CS3, and CS4. In this video, we will show you how to install ID2Q on a Macintosh or Windows computer. Please note that you need Quark Express installed on the computers, as ID2Q is an extension to Quark Express. Lastly, we will cover frequently asked questions, commonly known as FAQs. Ok, let's get started. What you receive when the product is purchased, either by download or via CD. When you receive the product digitally by email or download, you will see the application is still compressed as a zip file. To unpack the file, just double click on it, after which you will find the extensions for both Quark Express version 6 and 7 or version 8 in a separate folder. If you receive the CD, you will find the unpacked versions in the install software slash ID2Q folder. Which version of the extension to choose? If you are working with Quark Express version 6, the ID2Q extension you want to install is the one named ID2Q6v3.xnt. For Quark Express 7, the extension is named ID2Q7v3.xnt. And for version 8, ID2Q8.xnt. I will now install the ID2Q for Quark 7, but the folders I mentioned for Quark Express 7 are the same as in version 6 or version 8, only the name of the extension itself differs. Where to find the destination folder? To enable the extension to work, you will have to place it in the extension folder of Quark Express. This is where to find the folder. Open your hard disk by double clicking the HD icon and open the application folder from the window. You will now see a folder named Quark Express, followed by the version number. Open it by double clicking. Now find the extensions folder. To go short, you can find the folder at Macintosh HD slash applications slash Quark Express slash extensions. The only thing left now is to copy the right ID2Q extension into this folder and you are ready to activate. Note that when you are installing an upgrade for ID2Q, you would have to delete the older version from this extension folder or from the extension disable folder. Leaving it here will cause the extension to fail. This should get you up and running without any problems, but please watch the movie with frequent asked questions if you experience any problems installing ID2Q. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to contact us. Our contact information can be found on our webpage at www.marksware.com. I thank you for watching. I'm confident Marksware's ID2Q extension will make your life easier and saving you lots and lots of time and money. This is Arnold Roos, signing off.